How's it going, YouTube? Tim Jacobs here, bringing you guys a quick video uh, for my first Legion explanation guide. So, I'm thinking throughout the, throughout the expansion, what I'm going to be doing here is making quick, short, sweet, simple videos uh, whenever I come across something where I find there's a lack of information on currently. So, for this video, guys, I'm going to be discussing world quests. Uh, one world quest in particular that I found is particularly hard to find the area in which you do the world quest is the Arc Bowl Arena. So in this video, guys, I'm just going to discuss what I found to be the shortest, simplest, and quickest path to get to this world quest. Now, before getting there, one thing I would like to note, guys, is it's very much worth downloading an add-on called World Quest List. So you see here I have this list of world quests. Uh, it's worth getting this add-on because it can tell you not only what quests are available in the world once hitting 110, but it also tells you how much time is left on them, as well as what you can get from doing the world quest. So definitely worth checking out, guys. Um, you, you'll have the options in your mini-map, see 22 hours here to get this artifact power, uh, or you know you have two days here on this, 16 hours on this. Uh, things of that nature. So it's definitely worth checking out, guys, if, if you're looking to... Uh, quickly bust out all of your world quests on a daily basis. So one world quest that I particularly found was quite challenging to discover the location of was uh, getting to the Arc Bowl Arena. So it seems like it's not in that hard of a place to find, right? It's like right by Thunder Totem. Uh, it's not the case. Uh, it's pretty hard to uh, get to it the very first time. So uh, what you guys are going to want to do is first click on High Mountain, take a flight path to Thunder Totem here in High Mountain, and then uh, we're going to make our way over to Arc Bowl Arena. What I suggest doing is actually right-clicking it so that you can track the quest. And then you can see it over here. Um, and you can see I've lost a lot of damage on my gear. Uh, particularly because uh, it, it's challenging to get to the area. And the fastest manner of getting there is to actually uh, take a nice little jump and, and fall to your death. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's head over to the Dark Bowl Arena. So if you check your mini-map, where we're going to be going first is uh, right across this bridge. So if you're looking at the map, it's the nice long one to the right. So you go up the hill. Keep going up and up and up. And then instead of taking a right, you're going to keep going straight. Now, once you see these vendors here, you know that you're in the right place. I'm going to repair my gear because uh, you're going to need to need your gear here. Uh, if you see this cave off to your right, you're going the right way under Stone Breach. But instead of heading towards the cave, we're actually going to uh, go up to this little side path. Now, as a druid, this is quite easy for me to get to because I can stealth past the elites. Uh, if you don't have stealth, you might not have as easy as, uh, of a time, but you'll be able to make it there, I promise. So you can either go up this way to go past the elites, but the more common route and the easier way is to actually keep going straight over here. There will be a rare over here, so you know, if you don't have stealth, good luck getting past the rare. But you know the best thing to do, guys, is to actually just make a pre-made group. So um, you know if you're trying to do uh, world quests and you're having difficulty, say, getting there because the, the, there's mobs in the way or something like this, uh, you can actually hit the uh, dungeons raids tab. This is your common dungeon and raids, and then you can um, actually just go down to pre-made groups and then get to where you need to go by uh, you know, hitting questing, start a group, find a group, etc. So here is actually where the Arc Bull Arena is going to be. You'll see all these guards here. That's how you know you're in the right place. So as soon as I have stuff, it's easy to get past them, but it's actually not they're not too hard to kill if you wanted to uh, you know, take them out. So you head into this little cave here. I have the luxury of uh, going a little bit quicker. And you also see if you're tracking the quest guys, you'll see that the numbers will be going down. It means you're getting closer. So 250, 230, 218, 215. All right, so again, these are all you know easy, easy mobs to kill. Not too hard. Now, the fastest way to actually get down here, this is where you need to get to. Okay, and there's these stones that you click on that'll help you to uh, do a slow fall. So, you know, if you're a mage, or if you are a druid with travel form, or any class that has a slow falling form, it's pretty easy to get down here, uh, but if not, you, you just, uh, you know, kind of come over here and do your own thing. 
So uh, you just, uh, you know, kill these guys, and then you just take a little leap right here. So, you know, there might be an easier way to get down. You guys let me know in the comments if you think that there is. But what I've been doing is actually just jumping um, and then getting uh, to here. But, you know, in honesty, if you die, it's all right because you will res uh, right here. So I'll show you what that looks like just so you guys uh, believe me. I see I'm not lying. So that's where the arena is right down here, this whole area. Now, if you die, which is completely fine, right? If you want to get here quick, if you only have like 15 minutes to complete the, the world quest before the timer runs out, uh, you'll see that if you die in this cave, it'll actually respawn you down uh, right next to where you need to begin the world quest, which is absolutely excellent. Uh, it's it's great. So once you're here, uh, you're going to find these guys. You're going to click on these stones that are right by them, and you'll see that you'll get a buff called Featherstone, and your falling damage is reduced by 90%. Now to actually begin the quest, you're going to have to jump down. With this 90% reduction, though, you'll be fine. I'll do it in human form so you can see. All right, you're still alive. And then you're going to have to grab this Berserker buff. Now, this Berserker buff gives you 300% increased damage. And um, you do take more damage, but it's all right because you just avoid the ads. So you can see here I am in the Dark Bull Arena. You can see in the top right of my map, that's where I am. Um, it looks like there's a monk who is also doing it. So uh, it's worth noting, guys, that killing other players in the arena does not give you any uh, bonus towards the quest objective. Only ki killing these elites will give you 10% uh, each. So you're going to want to pick up these Berserker buffs. And uh, these are soloable. I, I do personally recommend going ahead and, uh, you know, finding a, a friend, a guildmate or something like this to help you kill these ads. But you know, if you uh, don't happen to have a guildmate to help, that's fine. You can just do it on your own. Now I am getting attacked. It, that does happen around here. Uh, you can just get away from those guys. But you can see his health is just pretty much down. He's pretty much able to be killed there. And that would give me 10%. Uh, you do need to get 100% to finish the quest, so you have to do 10 of those. Uh, but you'll see that once these other players do get those Berserker buffs, um, they hit you pretty hard. So you can see um, I got hit for 92,000 uh, on this guy's uh, bloodlet when he threw his glaive. Uh, it hit me a few times pretty hard. So, yeah, you know, you want to stay away from other players. Again, killing other players does not grant anything towards the world quest, so not worth doing. If you're finding it's challenging to um, get kills, guys, uh, what I like to do, uh, and this is just me personally, um, you can actually just go to these bridges. If you miss it, like I almost just did, just do a little leap. Now, you'll find that these mobs are soloable uh, without the buff. All you have to do is avoid their attack, Stone Toss. And, uh, you know, it'll take a little while, but as long as, you know, you're not short on time, you can just sit here and uh, complete the quest by simply attacking. You can see uh, it takes a little bit of time, but it is worth doing if you need to. So you just go about your business. It'll take some time. You can see his health is slowly going down, 80% in just a couple of seconds. But, you know, worth doing. You can also stun that attack if it's going to hit you and you can't get out of it in time. Um, that is an option to do there as well. So. And again, I'm, I'm a Feral Druid. My gear is not great. 8 one eye level and I'm able to solo these elites. So, uh, if you do pick up the Berserking buff, though, you saw how much faster it is to kill them. So, I'm not going to waste your guys' time by uh, showing you uh, my fail there. But, I'll show you that there is also another uh, mod that you can go here. But the best thing really to do is to actually come down here and um, fight these elites with the Berserker buff. Um, but with, keep that in mind, there are these uh, other people who will be down here um, having a good time and attacking you. So not fun to deal with them. But the best spots to go are either over in the corner there. Uh, another Berserker buff spawns here. So if you're looking for quick efficiency, you're going to want to stand right by where the Berserker buffs spawn while also avoiding uh, other people who are doing player versus player. So you can hide in this corner, for example, and continue to get the Berserker buff. And you'll see uh, how much faster it really is to pick up uh, and kill mobs with the Berserker buff compared to not having the 300% you know, increased damage. Um, again, the hardest thing to do is actually to find uh, this area. Once you find it, it's really pretty easy to go ahead and, and do what you want to do. Um, so that's the Arc Bull Arena, guys. You can see here on the map that we are uh, at the arena. Uh, you see how much faster these guys will die if you do happen to have uh, you know, your Berserker buff for the 300% increased damage. Big numbers there. And you'll be having a good time if you're able to actually bring some mates in with you. All you have to do, though, if you want to solo it, get the Berserker buff. Avoid uh, the simple stone toss. You can stun and CC if need be. Uh, but all in all, guys, that's that's the world quest for Arc Bull Arena. It's not too, too challenging. 
biggest challenge is to actually find the arena. But once you find it, then you can you can go ahead and have a good time. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. I will be putting out more uh, Legion discussion videos. I'm going to predominantly focus on doing videos that I find are helpful in instances where I'm having trouble finding, say, a zone or a world quest or you know things of this nature. So if you like the video, guys, I really appreciate a thumbs up and a like, and I'll be putting out more content as Legion continues to roll on. Thank you guys for watching. Warcraft on.